Hey everyone, it's Linda Medeiros, director with The Pampered Chef and host of What's Linda Cooking. I am making tonight, I saw something in the uh, New York Times uh, cooking section. I get that every single uh, week. They send me um, a little, you know, email with different recipes and things like that. And, you know, I always like recipes. So um, I talked to my husband about, you know, what do you want to, to cook tonight, you know, me to cook tonight? And he was like, you know, something with pork chops. Because I did get some pork chops. They are a little bit um, fatty, but I'm going to go with them. Um, and, in, and this is like a sheet pan meal. But I'm actually going to be doing it in the cast iron skillet. So you'll see that in a minute. But I need to do the sauce for it. So I am going to kind of throw this together really quickly. And we're going to see how it comes together. So in here, I'm going to put my cameras down and see if you can see what I am doing. Let me know if you can't see what I'm doing. But uh, we've got some uh, brown sugar in here. These are my two cup prep bowls. Now it asks for lemon juice. I don't have any. So believe it or not, I love this pomegranate um, balsamic vinegar. So vinegar has that kind of a acidity to it. So I'm kind of going with that. So we're gonna do that. And we'll see how that comes out. We're gonna have a mishmash of flavors and uh, I don't care. I'm gonna just do it. Then we have some olive oil. I'm gonna throw that in there. And then there's some seasoning that they have, but I'm gonna use that chili lime because a lot of the seasoning that's in there is in the chili lime, and I just kind of like the chili lime, so we're gonna put that in there. So, and I always use the covers to kind of measure, even though we have really great measuring tools, but I really like uh, to use the covers just to measure really quick. So I got that in there. Then we're going to put in a um, clove of garlic. So we're gonna, with my garlic press, I love this garlic press. Don't buy the jar. The jar is really bad. Um, Cause you know, it doesn't last that long, even though people have it on their um, things forever. I'm gonna save this to put into that, um, that uh, Ziploc bag that I have full of stock. So we've got that all in there. And we're just gonna mix this up. Just like that. Oh my gosh, it looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, so don't judge me. These have a lot of fat on it, but I'm going with them because we'll, you know, whoever wants to cut those off, we'll cut them off after. So I'm going to pour this. I think this is going to, we're just going to pour this. Yep, right over. Now this can be done with chicken instead, okay? Because that's what the recipe calls for is chicken instead. But I am doing it with Oh, and I didn't put any bacon in here because it calls for bacon, but I did put bacon fat in there. Don't judge me. I use the, the uh, bacon fat. I save it and stuff like that. So I'm using my scraper here. I love these scrapers just because uh, they get everything out of the bowls. This is my um, small mixing scraper. It is my favorite. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to put that aside. Then it asks for cherry tomatoes. Of course, I don't have any. So we're going with diced tomatoes and I've done this before and it has worked out fine so we're just gonna pour these kind of on the sides and around and then we're gonna add some garlic because everything's better with garlic and you know what I'm not gonna drain this because I want that because I'm gonna serve it with some rice so that's why I'm not gonna drain it um, I want that juice for the rice so we're gonna put that aside then we have some garlic that I've already peeled because it wanted some smashed garlic. So we're smashing some garlic. There we go. Oh, one went flying. Okay, so live TV sometimes. Oh, let me put this over here so you can see it a little better. So I can't even see that you can't see. So we're going to put this just like this, kind of litter this all around just like that now um and i think that's gonna be it now i am going to add, and this is going to go into the let me throw this into a 425 degree oven and i'm going to make my rice i make my rice let me whoa, here you can see me now um i'm gonna make my rice in my quick cooker because it only takes four minutes. So that's gonna be nice and easy. Oh, I gotta run away. Let's put this in there. Let's put this in there. Let me throw it in there. Um, we want all that garlic in there. Um, so, what was I saying? 
I can't remember. But anyways, I'm going to serve it over some rice. But at the end, I'm going to put some frozen spinach in there too. Because it's going to bump up some of the, the veggies. And I might make a salad on the side if I feel like it. I'll make a salad on the side. And so we'll have a, our veggies. Because I do have some lettuce and, and stuff like that. So this is the... This was the... Um, thing that I have, the, the recipe that I have. And it's from, um, it's called sheet pan chicken with jammy tomatoes and pancetta. Um, but I changed it up a little bit because uh, that's how I roll. And uh, just gonna serve it over rice, really, really easy. The cast iron skillet, I absolutely love because I can go from the stove top to the, to the oven and that's why I love it. So instead of doing it in a sheet pan, I did it in that and just sub sub substituted some stuff. Because you know, it's sometimes, you got to take what's on your pantry shelves. That's all you have to do because that is, you know, I, I don't want to go out to the store again. I just went out to the store. I forgot the tomatoes. So I'm just going with that. And you know what? If there's anything that you need help with, let me know. That's what I'm here for. So if you have something like, you know, somebody told me that they didn't have, they had a hard time cooking rice. So I gave her instructions on how to cook rice. Um, that's the kind of thing that I'm here for. If you have something like, you know, on your, on your pantry shelves that you don't know what to do with, let me know and I can try to find a recipe for you. So um, post down what you're cooking tonight because I always love to see what everybody is cooking. That's always a good thing. Um, and also, you know what? Share it. Sharing is caring. Remember that. Like it. Um, and also, if you're on Fa if you're on YouTube, you know, look at my channel, Linda Medeiros, um, and subscribe because um, that's always fun too. And because I post them on, on uh, YouTube also. And I have more on YouTube because I have some of my ORC TV stuff on there, which are long segments. So um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm Linda Madeira. Stay safe, everybody. Have a great, great night. And remember, share <laughs> and like. Bye for now.